one thing that really surprises me about this whole thing, I'm no longer surprised, but when I first heard about the radical Black Lives Matter, a bunch of black lesbians, the founder of it, and they don't support God or anything good. I'm surprised a little bit, not anymore, but I was, that there's only talk about the police and about systematic racism, systemic racism, and white people. There's no talk about the bad behavior of these people. It's leaving that out and that what they're fighting for is made up. It's a lie. It's about changing America to something else. They hate the order of God. They hate America. Even the Republicans are not saying that, that I've heard. The men or the women in the Republican Party. The Republican Party is a strong disappointment. Not the voters, but the representatives. They are beyond rhino. They're at the verge of fear. They won't even speak the truth when it comes to black people. They know there is no systemic racism or racism, period. They know that these blacks need fathers. They need parents. They need love. They need to return to God. But they won't say it. Texas Governor Greg Abbott speaks on the protest sparked by the recent death. Here's that sound by at a press conference. What happened to George Floyd is a horrific act of police brutality. And we must ensure that it never happens here in Texas. I join the millions of Americans who seek swift justice in this case. George Floyd's death has touched every corner of our country. People are rightfully angry. We can remedy the injustices that have plagued African-American and other minority communities in Texas. This man is a bald-faced liar, a beta male beyond beta. These people don't want swift justice. These people want to destroy America. They hate America. And this man is lying. And I'm surprised. I thought he was better than this. No wonder Texas is going to hell in a handbasket as well. This man knows that these blacks are radical blacks. He knows that it's not about race. He knows it's about character and the light thereof. He knows that they need fathers. He's going along with the crap and encouraging it. He's not helping the situation. That's Greg Abbott. A Republican. Isn't he a Republican? Unless I thought wrong. A fake Republican. Thank God for Trump. If it wasn't for Donald Trump, it would be over. If any of these fake Republicans were in the White House, it would be over for America. The blacks would be burning down America. I mean, burning down the White House. Well, they're already burning down America. But they would be burning down the White House. And it goes beyond that, folks. Fourth Worth Police Chief, a guy by the name of Ed Crouch, Kraus, dropped all the charges on the rioters. Yeah, good morning. Chief Ed Kraus made that decision not to uh, pursue those charges, and that all stems, of course, from that confrontation more than a week ago on the West 7th Street Bridge. Around 50 people were arrested for rioting. Officers reported that frozen water bottles and some filled with bleach were thrown at officers. But in a statement, the chief said the cry for police reform must start at home. That statement said in part, we hear those voices and we are committed to enacting the necessary reforms to improve our police department and our relationship with the community we serve. Words are a start, but must be backed up with action. Chief statement also said that anyone who was arrested on that charge, rioting, will receive a letter in the mail letting them know that the charges have been dropped. White people, what's wrong with y'all? And you're making up lies. You know what the real deal is. You can't appease these people. You'll go to jail for playing in the playground 
for going to church, but not for rioting. This is in Texas, and everybody and their mama running to Texas. Why? Amazing. I just don't know. This is, these are Texas people running the government and the police department, and they're cowing down as well. The men. I thought Texas was a strong place, conservative. Everybody want to live in Texas. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.